2017 Baltimore Orioles, what a way to start the season, huh folks? Mark Trumbo, the walk-off homer in the 11th, not quite the walk-off the Blue Jays gave the O's in last year's wildcard round, but the O's will definitely take this one to kickstart the season. As far as the 2017 regular season is concerned, we all know the power's there, right? Trumbo, Davis, Jones, Machado, and the like. The question is, will these arms carry this team to the postseason for the fourth time in six years? My prediction? Barely. I think the O's make it. They're definitely in contention Cup September, and they sneak into that second wild card spot. Another prediction for you, Train Mancini. If given the opportunity, he's your American League Rookie of the Year. The Ravens with another trade on Tuesday, dealing Timmy Jernigan and the number 99 overall pick in this year's draft. What does Baltimore get in return? They get the honor of moving up 25 spots in the third round to pick number 74. I don't know. We all knew Jernigan was on the trading block, and they were up against it after giving Brandon Williams that nice new shiny briefcase full of buku bucks. But couldn't the Ravens have gotten something better for a guy who started 15 games last year? Obviously, they didn't think so. All right, Mello Trimble, the Terps guard who last week announced that he is heading for the NBA draft and will sign with an agent. Only one person knows what the right move is for Mello Trimble, and that is Mello Trimble. If he feels he's ready in his heart, by all means, now is the time to leave College Park. However, me personally, I don't think now is the time to jet the Xfinity Center for Mello. Will he get drafted in June? There's no guarantee. Is he a point guard? Is he a shooting guard? What is he really in the NBA? The big question is, did he get better over the last two years with the Terps? I think his pro stock is about the same as it was last year at this time. By returning for his senior season, he could have been the leader of what possibly could have been a top 10 team in the preseason. The three freshmen becoming sophomores and add Trimble to that. You got to love those prospects. Now, He's going to work his butt off to prove to NBA teams that he's one of the top 60 players in the world. If not, he's heading to the D-League or abroad to pad his bank account instead of his all-time Terps stats. Okay, is the National Hockey League bluffing when it says the league won't send its players to the Olympics next winter in South Korea? Like a lot of hockey fans, I certainly hope so. The NHL announced Monday that the door is closed on the possibility of reaching a deal with all parties involved to make sure the best hockey players in the world play in the best tournament out there. Owners want more concessions for sending their players halfway around the world in the middle of their season. The NHL was reportedly offered basically the same deal as the previous five Olympics, but they want more. As for the players, they want to go. Alex Ovechkin, for example, says he's playing for Russia if the NHL is involved or not. How many other NHLers will follow Ovechkin's lead? As much as it would hurt Caps fans to see Ovi leave the team for three whole weeks in the middle of the season, hey, I support him and any other Olympian that wants to head to Pyeongchang. With all the doom and gloom in this scenario, I still think a deal is reached in time for NHL Olympic participation next winter. If not, shame on the league. Shame. Shame. And finally, Tony Romo. He never won the big one on the field, but now he gets to call the big one from the booth. The Cowboys quarterback is now part of the number one broadcast team for CBS. You might even hear him on a few Ravens games next year. You know, it's too bad because I would have loved to see if he had a little gas left in that tank next season, maybe with Houston or the Jets. At the very least, you know it would have been great theater for sure. But this might just be the best thing for Romo, who has suffered his fair share of some pretty bad injuries over time. Would opposing fans love another chance for that ill-timed Romo throw and interception just at the right moment of a close game? You bet. But I don't want to see Romo risk even more injury to a bruised and battered body. I think this might just be his best move yet. And you better believe the pressure will be on when he dons that broadcaster's blazer. You know, there have to be plenty of other analysts who aren't too thrilled Romo walked off the field and directly into the booth without paying any dues behind the mic. All right, if you have any questions or comments for me, please let me have them. There's a few ways to reach me on Facebook, Sean Stepner, WMAR, on Twitter, at StepnerABC2, or just email me, sean.stepner at WMAR.com. I'll see you next time on the sidelines.